pendulum clock movements. All of our battery-operated pendulum movements have several things in common. They're all operated by an electromagnet that gives a pulse to a magnet on the pendulum arm. This gives the pendulum a very natural swinging motion. Pendulums also operate independently of the actual clock movement and have no effect on the timekeeping. In most cases, when the battery on one of our pendulum movements gets below about 1.2 volts, the pendulum will stop swinging so that the timekeeping can actually operate a bit longer. When the pendulum stops swinging, it's a good reminder to change the battery. Two factors must always be considered when using battery-operated quartz pendulum movements. The first is the weight of the actual pendulum. Our pendulums are specifically designed to work with battery-operated movements. If you were to substitute a pendulum from an old mechanical movement, you would probably find that the pendulum is too heavy to be operated by a battery-operated movement. The second is the operating position of the movement. The movement must be level or vertically plumb. If the movement is not properly leveled, then the pendulum may not operate properly or at all. The tolerance front to back is plus or minus two degrees. That's a very close measurement. A quick test to see if leveling may be the problem is to remove the actual pendulum and see if the black plastic pendulum arm on the movement will swing by itself. If it does, then leveling is your problem. I often use small pieces of felt as shims at the top or the bottom of the clock case to get it level. This is Mike Brossman for clockparts.com. If you have any questions, please email us by going to the contact us section on our website www.clockparts.com or call us at 888-827-2387.